Hello, Namaste, and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to discuss a very important topic. I believe this video will fascinate your thought process. So, first of all, tell me how many friends you have in your Facebook, Instagram, or uh, anything, any social media you are using on. Maybe you have 1000, maybe 2000, maybe 3000. See, I have total almost 600 friends and then if i want to follow by any one of them there will be only two or three people they will listen me they will follow me rest all the people will not follow so uh, what we'll do if you are leader if you are manager or if you are working in corporate field i know your positional power may work but if you want to win over people through your personal power how you can win so in this video we are going to explore and then peel the layer of how we can win over people and get our things done so please stay tuned until end of this video we are going to peel the layer of how we can make more friends how we can make our dream come true through different kind of people in this video i'm going to talk about the one of the world famous book called how to win and influence people this book is written by dale carnegie during 1935 he wrote this book by observing different kind of very famous people in the history such as Abraham Lincoln and also he wrote this book from his own personal experience. So this book will tell you some fundamental principle which we can immediately apply in our life to win over people and we can influence. First of all I'm going to talk about first rule. There are six ways you can practice that's how people will start to like you or they will follow you to get people to like you pay attention to others and so you are concerned about their well-being follow this six fundamental rule number one the first rule is become genuinely interested in other people by doing so you can gain the attention of others and secure their corporation again and again by showing a sincere interest in others you as a manager or whatever field you are working can deepen your employees loyalty to your company as well since people see you as a representative of your organization and if you are working in the political field also same thing apply you have to be interested to other people now i'm going to talk about second rule make a very good first impression by smiling this is very important since action speak louder than words and smile helps to show people that you like them it demonstrates that you are glad to see them and that you want to be friendly of course our smile should not be or uh, be an insincere grin people resent such a false and mechanical expression but heartfelt smile that comes from within will help attract people towards you number three learn people names you can develop a simple technique to achieve this when you meet someone for first time find out what person name as well as some facts about his or her family business or interest visualize this information as a picture in your mind then when you see that person again you will remember it the power of recall is critical because people value their name highly fourth rule be a good listener and encourage people to talk about themselves it is especially flattering to pay exclusive attention to the person who is speaking to you rather than looking around to see who else might be there listening is also a very important skill for someone in customer service for example if a client comes to complain just listening attentively can help diffuse the customer anger it may even make the person sadness disappear so it's very important you have to be good listener whenever you are listening people you have to pay your undivided attention to particular person whom you are talking number fifth rule talk in a way that interests other speak about their hobbies and passions theodore roosevelt which is the u.s president mastered this skills he was well versed on a wide variety of topics when he expected to meet with the important designatory he would study up on that person's interest this habit enabled roosevelt to woo people with his wealth of knowledge he knew that the royal road to a person's heart is to talk about the things he or she treasures the most so you need to find out the person trigger point what excite them what make them happy and you have to talk about it so people will be more lean towards you number six rule is find a sincere way to make other feel important for example ask yourself what characteristic 
about other people you can honestly admire. The psychologist William James said that the deepest principle in human nature is to craving to be appreciated. Yes, you heard it right. Everybody want to be heard they are good. They want to be appreciated, right? By showing your appreciation for others, you help nurture their feelings of self-importance. However, you need to be sincere when you show your gratitude to gratitude. By showing your appreciation for others, you help nurture their feelings of self-importance. However, you need to be sincere when you show your gratitude. So compliments don't come across as a insincere flatter. So still there are so many good topics I'm going to talk about how to win people to your way of thinking. So there are 12 technique for convincing other people to believe what you are telling them consciously try to apply each method in your conversation so stay with me number one the only way to win argument is to avoid it generally disagreement only make other defensive and a person who feels he or she has lost dispute loses face once you get drawn into the argument you cannot win because if you lose it you lose and even if you win it you lose thus avoiding engaging in quiver so it means if and you are going to win any kind of argument with another people maybe you win but from the, that person perspective you already lose the goodwill you towards you right so it's very important number two show respect for other people opinions i know that it's one of the very hard parts sometimes people will say nonsense thing but how we can show respect for opinion you don't want to make other think you disagree with them with careless words looks in notation or gesture when you challenge other people's views you make them want to strike back not change their mind so if you are not happy with anybody opinion you should not disagree with them if you are become disagreed they might not trust you so being disagree with them simply means you are not agree right so you have to be very very uh, careful in this regards number three admit when you are wrong if you make a mistake acknowledge it quickly making such an admission is especially helpful when you know that other are thinking that you are wrong and want to say as much it is easier to listen to self-criticism than criticism from others and generally when you in generally when you admit a mistake other people are more likely to be forgiving and supportive when you don't they are likely to be more critical and frustrated so it's very important whenever things goes wrong you have to admit quickly and you have to acknowledge so people will see how honest you are so they will be still start to like you number four even if you are angry vegan in friendly way i know we are living in this part of the world but sometimes things go wrong so instead of being angry use honey to make the medicine go down you cannot win over someone who feels negatively toward you but by soothing that feeling you can start to bring that person around to your point of view so you have to be very very careful also Number five, get the other person to say yes in in the beginning. Begin by discussing issue on which you both agree. Once you receive a no response, you will face a hurdle that you need to overcome. Since your fellow discussant want to remain consistent, thus it helps to start up with the question that will evoke a yes or a statement that will bring about agreement. Once the person is in the habit of saying yes, you can broach the harder question. It means whenever you are dealing with people, you have to start from a small thing which they cannot ignore, which they cannot deny. When they will say yes, then you can gradually ask more thing to them. So this is how win start to happen. Number six, when dealing with complaints, let your clients do the talking. So it's also very important, allow them to say everything they want to say. As you listen, you will learn more about their business and their problems and you will be in a better position to help. Listen patiently with the op and open mind. Be sincere and encourage your clients or your friend to express their concern and ideas fully. Number seven, seek cooperation. Let the other party feel responsible for generating an idea. People have more faith in the suggestion that they themselves propose. 
So if you want to implement something need to be done, instead of telling this is coming from you, you have to tell it's coming from your team. So people will be more willing to accomplish things. So it's very very important. Another thing, see things from the other person point of view. Put yourself in the other person's place so you can better understand what he or she wants and needs. This can be especially helpful if you are trying to sell someone a product or course of action. This will help you to understand what motivates the other people. So it's very important. Sympathize with what the other person think or want. So you have to respect what other people want and think. This way even if you disagree or would do something differently, you show that you understand and empathize. Say something like, I don't blame you. One for feeling you yes you do if I were you I would undoubtedly feel just as you do so it's very very important you are showing concern and giving the feeling how important is on other people another thing appeal to people higher aspiration and nobler motives people usually have two reasons for doing something the real reason and one that sounds good sincere people are idealist at heart and like to think they act out of good motive you will have better luck in the changing people by appealing to those positive intentions so you have to be really careful in this aspect as well number 11 express your idea in dramatic way by dramatizing your plans you make them more powerful and persuasive use strong illustration and showmanship to get your ideas across this approach works well because merely stating a truth isn't enough the truth has to be baby number 12 or last principle use challenge to motivate others this is very important this technique works because successful people love the chance to prove their worth for example the industrial charles squab once drew a large figure six on the floor of mill to note how many times the day shift employee made the next day when the night shift staff came in they drew seven on the floor too so they had performed even better than previously that inspired the day shift worker to toil even harder and place a 10 on the floor when they left by expressing what he wanted squab encourages staff to work more productively and more diligently this tactics was more effective than if he had just asked his employee for improved work so people will willing to compete one another in very good way so we have to use challenge to motive others. Last thing I'm going to talk about be leader. If you are in a leadership position, if you are in a political field, if you are as a teacher, master, whatever you name it, employ nine important principles to motivate people to change without giving offense or arising any kind of resentment. Number one, if you have to discuss a fault or concern with someone, begin with sincere praise and honest appreciation. So you have to start good thing first. Another, if someone make mistake, raise awareness of his or her mistake indirectly. So in this case, you still you can win over people. Before condemning another person, reveal your own mistake first. It's very important. You have to tell if you were in another people's situation, what he might have gone wrong. Also, you have to tell. So only that case you can let other people feel it think it instead of giving someone direct order ask question such as what do you think of this to let employees propose their own suggestion so see it's very very important right if you give order and if you ask suggestion it means he want to do it because it's he feels it's coming from him so you have to be very very careful in this aspect never put someone in a position where they lose so uh, this basically apply whenever you want to you are not happy with your any of employee you want to talk with anyone you have to talk him in private not in the briefing or not in front of other people give improving employees price no matter how slight their progress somebody if every inch everything they do always bring the better future so whenever your staff do something good you have to price them no matter how small effort how slight effort it is. give the other person a fine reputation to live up to so you have to mention you have to create very good working environment so other people might be willing to work 
and they will be more appreciative right offer employees encouragement and make their faults seem easy to rectify so some people uh, what will happen if somebody do mistake they will exaggerate and they will you know they will use it for their advantage but it's this doesn't work if you do this other people will never trust you 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 will never follow you so you have to use this opportunity to build the more relationship and last thing make other people feel happy about trying out your suggestion so remember everyone want to be success everyone one and want to be liked it, at the end of the day it's whether you are leader or whatever people will always think in the themselves so we have to put other people in place and whatever you want to do you have to include them and you have to mention it's coming from them so that case people will be always willing to follow you willing to help you this is how we can win over people please practice this thing to your family your friend and whenever any kind of situation happen it will always bring positive reward to you and this mainly used by the corporate field business people and also entrepreneur thank you very much thanks for watching this video stay tuned for same kind of video for the